Welcome to Mobility Monday, session number two, and I'm going to be running through four exercises to do with upper back uh, mobility, which will in turn help the shoulders uh, and get those healthier. Um, so why are we concentrating on upper back uh, mobility? Well, our rotation comes from our upper back, and if rotation starts to come from the lower back, then it can cause serious back problems and uh, severe pain. So um, as well as um, wanting to improve that mobility for sports or lifting, um, it's also good for overall health as well. So four exercises or four movements that I'm going to focus on today. Uh, number one, well, no particular order really. Um, we are going to be starting with the bench T-spine mobility, which requires a little bit of a setup. You can see I've got two chairs um, and a pole here, which I'll take you through in a second. So that's the, the first one we're going to run through. Um, and then sideline rotations, um, we're going to do an exercise called thread the needle, uh, and then another variation um, of that where we drop back onto our heels um, and we rotate upwards instead of uh, through. Okay, so first exercise. This does require a bit of a setup. See, I've got two chairs here and a pole. Um, I have two chairs because I need to go a little bit wider with my elbows. So your elbows are going to be slightly in front. You're going to be holding the pole just like this. Make sure you keep your back straight and neutral throughout the movement. You're going to rock back. You're going to feel a little bit of a stretch in your triceps, your lats. When that happens, you're going to exhale all your air and you're going to let that upper back extend and then come back, you're going to rock back, feel that stretch in the lats, exhale and bring yourself back up. Now that is the most technical movement that we're going to be doing today. Just take your time, work on those points. So elbows slightly out in front. You're gonna rock back until you feel the stretch in your lats, and then you're gonna exhale all your hair, and then bring your rib cage forward and down without arching your back too much. That's number one. Now I'm gonna run through the next three movements. So first one, thread the needle. Shoulders over the hands, you want a box shape. You're going to bring one hand, you're going to bring it underneath you and you're going to reach out to the other side as much as possible. And remember to keep that lower back steady and sturdy. You're going to rotate as much as you can with the upper body. It's fine to sink your shoulder down to the floor. But just remember, try and reach through as much as you can and try and keep this elbow straight. Second one is a variation of this. It's going to rock back onto our heels. That's going to again limit rotation of the lower back. Hand up against your ear. You know, rotate down slightly and then up as high as you can. Now you might find one side has more movement than the other, and that's fine. Just work the range of motion that you can. And whatever you do on one side, make sure you repeat it. Okay, and last movement. This is a side lying rotation. So, you're going to lay on your side. You're going to make sure you're completely square on. Both hands together. Push your top hand forward. You're going to bring it around your head and bring it back. Okay, one more time. Just like that. And again, repeat on each side. If you do get any severe shoulder pain throughout any of these exercises, then stop. Don't do it. These are just general recommendations to improve the upper back mobility. Uh, let us know how you get on in the comments below. And that's all for today.